I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline and uh, the St. Kitts Nevis Olympic Committee coming to you from Lima, Peru for the Pan American Games 2019. We just had a press conference organized by Panam Sports and uh, it was a press conference really designed for the athletes. We heard from some of the athletes here. We heard from two Peruvian athletes, Itzel Delgado, who won a medal in surfing yesterday, and Ariana Orego, uh, who also competed for Peru in the gymnastics. We also heard from Risa Grant from Trinidad and Tobago and Connor Baxter from the USA, who won a gold medal in surfing. We're going to hear from them. They're giving, them, they're giving their experience of what it's like competing in Peru. It was amazing. The facility is a state-of-the-art um, facility. Uh, the sand was completely warm, which was unexpected for me, uh, given the conditions in Peru. And um, my teammate and I, we had a wonderful experience, not only for Trinidad and Tobago, um, but for the English-speaking Caribbean. And we represented with heart, with passion. And uh, to me, that's the best thing that we could have done here, given the tough group that we were placed in. But um, the experience is wonderful. Um, I would like to say thanks to the Pan Am Sports, especially for um, allowing the media and everyone back at home to see the success um, and the competition of uh, beach volleyball and sport within Peru. My first experience to be marching with that many athletes and uh, that many spectators gave me chicken skin the whole entire time and um, was an amazing, amazing experience. So thank you guys. Appreciate all the hard work that goes behind the scenes that we don't know of. Uh, we come here focused on one thing and that's to win a medal. Um, of any of uh, any color, so um, thank you. Really appreciate it. Muchas gracias. And one of the questions asked uh, to the uh, athlete from Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Risa Grant, who competed in beach volleyball, how does she compare the conditions here in Peru, which has been cold, as I indicated earlier? The first few days of being here, we had a struggle in terms of climatizing with our breathing and everything. And uh, after the, the, the third day is when we, our bodies adjusted and we were able to play uh, our best game within the competition. And uh, I just want to thank the volunteers for helping us um, with our training while we're here. Because uh, without them, we would have had to be running every single ball and be out of breath <laughs> doing that. But um, it was pretty tough. Um, and in the end, we overcame it. Reporting from Lima, Peru, I'm Andre Huey.